Welcome back friends, welcome back to another video lecture by Kami Microbiologist. Today in this video we are going to talk about the 28 video lecture that is related to culture media. In this video we are going to talk about bile esculine agar medium or BEA medium. We also called it bile esculine test. Now this media was first of all proposed by two scientists named Rochex and Swan in 1924. This media is called selective differential media because through this media we can grow uh, only gram negative bacteria and in gram negative bacteria we mostly grow enterococcus and streptococcus and some other bacteria as well. This media is also used for the growth of enterobacter E. coli, Klebsiella, Yersinia, Enterocolitica, Sertia, some strain we have and some other strains like uh, Staphylococcus, uh, Aerococcus, uh, Lasteromanus hydrogene. So these bacteria can also be grow because this media contain bile as well as uh, esculine. So due to the presence of this, the Staph, Aerococcus and Lasteromanus hydrogene can also be grow. Now let's see that uh, what type of ingredients are present in this media. This media contain peptic digest of animal tissue 5 gram, esculine 1 gram, agar 15 gram, distal water 1 liter, beef extract 3 gram, bile salt 40 gram, ferric iron 0 0.50 gram. Let's see that what are the main function of these ingredients. The first of all we have esculine as well as ferric citrate. The presence of these two ingredients can provide ferric iron as well as ox bile respectively. These two ingredients mostly inhibit the other type of the bacteria and due to this way streptococci can be easily grow. We have peptic digest as well as uh, beef extract. So these two ingredients act as a, a food source so, and it can provide a carbon nitrogen as well as uh, vitamins some other component as well due to which the bacteria can grow and divide we have bile salt uh, that can inhibit the growth of most of all gram positive bacteria we have esculine that can uh, specially uh, you know uh, used for the hydro uh, means streptococcus mostly use this esculine for their hydrolysis we have uh, esculine that can react with ferric iron so when these two uh, compound are reacting with each other so what happened the amber color of the media will be converted into dark brown or black color then we have agar that act as a solidifying agent that is uh, providing a stable in uh, surface through which bacteria grow in the form of colony distal water that can mix all the ingredients now let's see how this media it can be prepared this media can be prepared that we have to weight the 64.5 gram of the media and we should dissolve it into 1 liter distilled water. After that we have to heat mix it means heat to boil it to dissolve the medium completely almost for 1 minute or 2 minutes. Then the media should be sterilized at a temperature of then the media should be sterilized uh, using autoclave at uh, 15 centigrade pressure for 121 uh, at 121 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. This media should be uh, cooled down at 50 degrees Celsius. Now at 50 degrees Celsius, the media should be poured into sterilized petri plate. Once the media was poured into sterilized petri plate, then the bacteria which is in the form of colony should be streaked in the medium. Uh, after that uh, this the media means the bacteria which we streak on the plate or on the test tube it should be incubated at 35 degree or 37 degree centigrade for hour night or 24 to 48 hour after that uh, the bacteria should be observed after 24 hour and the bacteria mostly produce blacking colonies now these are the growth of bacteria as you can see although we talked many type of the bacteria that can grow on this media but let's see the most important growth of the bacteria like E. coli, Ephesia, Yersina, uh, Enterocolitica, 
streptococcus pyogenes. So the streptococcus pyogenes as well as E. coli showing colorless colonies. And we have uh, Enterococcus vichylicea and uh, Yersinia enterocolitica uh, that produce blackish colonies as you can see. So these are the Yersinia enterocolitica and Yersinia fichia. Now these are the growth of E. coli as well as Streptococcus pyogene. So that's all about the uh, bile eclosine agar or bile eclosine test. Thanks you so much for watching.